Hey folks, Keith with 93 Lumber coming back at you with another beer. This is Samuel Adams. The old Sam Adams. It is their Jacko. It is a pumpkin ale. It is 4.4% alcohol by volume. Uh, eight IBUs if you're interested in that kind of thing. It is a wheat ale brewed with lemon peel with natural flavors and pumpkin added. Always get weird when they say there's natural flavors. Um, <clears throat> perfect fall beer. Jacko's cinnamon and nutmeg aromas recall memories of freshly baked pumpkin pie. It has the ideal balance of seasonal spices with a crisp, res crisp refreshing finish. This pumpkin ale pairs perfectly with the transition of summer into cooler days and nights. Uh, so, yeah. Um... Best Buy, February, according to this. So, yeah. Um, I grabbed this and a few other seasonal things for uh, Katie wanted. Um, Katie wanted some pumpkin beer, so. Um, so, she likes pumpkin um, so I grabbed a four pack of that. Um, I grabbed uh, the pumpkin dogfish head, and then I grabbed the variety pack of uh, Samuel Adams sw sweater weather. Um, yeah, that's a that's a dark um, like darker than amber. That's like a it's like deep orange maybe a little bit of red in there but yeah it's a it's good brassy coppery uh half a finger of a slightly off-white head it's a bit creamy creamy a little bit of creamy uh frothy frothy head um yeah looks looks good let's see what it smells like Definitely getting wheat ale vibes from it. Um, there is a there is a little bit of lemon peel, and there's just a whisper of those. Uh, what was it? Nutmeg and cinnamon. Yeah, nutmeg and cinnamon. There's just a whisper of that. It kind of smells nice because you get a little bit more of that lemon peel than you do those spices, but those spices are nice, and um, yeah, it smells good. It kind of, kind of, looking at it, you would think that it smelled different, but kind of like I feel like, yeah. But let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. I'm not getting as much of that wheat ale, the wheat characteristic as I was in the aroma, but I think that's a good thing. Um, or it might just be holding up some of the other flavors, but the, the, the spices come in big at the front and then they linger throughout. There is a, um, I don't know if I would specifically call it lemon, but there is this uh, citrusy kind of thing in there. And yeah.
And I don't know if it's because of the spices or natural flavors or um or unless the the spices are those natural flavors what does it say wheat ale brewed with lemon peel with natural flavors and pumpkin added so the the spices are probably the natural flavors um whether it's actual spices or or just uh, extracts or something that's whatever but um but yeah I kind of find it, it's weird in a way because like on the nose, getting like a little bit of wheat ale vibes, like I said, but like in the taste, it tastes like beer, but I'm not really getting wheat ale vibes, which is weird because I feel like I would, I don't know. And I don't know if it's a combination of the things in there that's making it not come off like wheat, at least to me. Or maybe maybe it's a little too cold or something. I don't know. I, I wasn't really worried about the coldness of this, but I just grabbed it out of the fridge. But it's it is chuggable. Nothing in here is overwhelming. Um Yeah, and it's it's actually a pretty nice it's a pretty nice just pumpkin beer. It's not it's not too overwhelming. The spices aren't too overwhelming. It tastes like beer <clears throat> while also having those other things. Um, and I didn't mention that there is pumpkin in this, and there is a creaminess to it. And I know pumpkin and gourds and squash and, and well pumpkins and squash and gourds in general don't really lend it themselves to taste as much as like mouthfeel so it's pretty good there is a little bit of a uh little bit of a bitterness in there but yeah hmm. so yeah i hope you're all doing well take care of yourselves take care of each other you can like the video if you'd like to subscribe to the channel if you have not already you can follow me on instagram at 93 lumber that's spelled out 93 lumber and we'll see you in the next one cheers